All right, folks, it's October 30th. It's very windy, it's about 85 degrees. Um, we got our front pushing in tomorrow, so we are getting everything ready to go. And uh, it should be a decent hunt. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Don't know until you go though, right? So we're getting everything ready to go. So stay with us, hopefully we can bust us a good deer. All right, we're going in. We got a long walk, we got about I don't know, probably half a mile walk. Hopefully we won't sweat too bad. As you can see though, oh cows. We're walking through some cows right now. Um, you're trying to figure out what I am. No, they know me. Anyways, it's hot, it's dry, and the deer are eating acorns right now. Our food plots haven't had rain in probably since I planted them. Not the first rain has been on them. But anyways, the deer is sticking the acres right now, so we're going back to the hole we call the honey hole. It's full of pin oaks. Lots of deer sign, lots of deer pictures. We're not getting any rack deer right now because they're all in my beans, not my beans. They're all in the beans across the road that's north of me and to the west of me. Once they cut those beans, it's like every year, it's like clockwork. I start getting deer back in here. But we got some local does, if I call them. They stay here on this farm. They never come off of it. And one of them is the double throat patch. And if you follow Rack TV, you know we've been chasing this deer for nine years, at least nine years. Anyways, I've, my son's had opportunities and she's busted them. I had a buddy of mine had an opportunity at her and his gun jammed. And then every bow hunter every time i've had an opportunity her every time she has busted me every time she nails me so but she showed up on camera i figured she'd die this year but she's still alive she's got pictures of her a couple days ago so she's back up so hopefully we can take her it'd be a great management deer to get off the property i'd love to get her off her because she, she's a big bully so we're walking in hopefully we can make it happen All right, we're getting settled in now. It's nice and toasty, I can tell you that. But this is a haven for acorns. Lots of deer sound. We got fresh deer poop at the bottom of our tree. So hopefully this will be a good evening to sit. So here we go. We'll put some back straps on the table. All right, we're gonna leave the woods a little early. You know, I try to walk through the woods as quiet as I can. You don't want to disturb nothing. You want to keep everything like it was. It's hard to do it though when something's following you. <laughs> yes, sir. Backstraps for dinner, baby. 